Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. For research, we are currently researching the payload for the Mars Prep robotic rover. We are... We have the International Space Station, which is really cool. Uh, we have missions ongoing. We have the Uranus flyby. Uh, let's start from the bottom, actually. So, centrifuge module is building. It completes in three months. Observation module launches in eight months. Uh, Mars prep sample retrieval launches in seven months. Jupiter orbiter has eight months until the next phase and Uranus orbiter has 49 months until the next phase. So a bit of time on that one. All right, so we don't really have anything to do right now. Everything is built in the base that we can build so far. So let's just uh, continue on to the next event. Uh, Cole Capone retires. Astronaut Cole Capone has retired and will no longer be available for missions. I think it would be nice if you could see the astronauts that you have had, their history. Uh, I don't know. Can we? Because we have the um, we have the Hall of Fame, don't we? Yeah, we do. Where is it? Looks like that. Uh, is it this one? No, that's the one. There's the Hall of Fame. But we can't see our astronauts. That It would be nice to see the retired astronauts and uh, what missions they've been on, stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, let's continue on to the next event. The centrifuge module uh, vehicle is complete. Uh, increased frequency for suboptimal launch windows, but also less penalty for it. So we need a couple of astronauts for this. What is our launch reliability? 98%. Uh, so I think we want to hire an astronaut. Ooh, test pilot 2, plus 10% launch reliability. But multinational plus 25% reputation reward upon mission success. That's actually quite nice. Lucky plus 5% chance of positive mission events. So I definitely want the scientist. Uh, we're going to hire her, Marine Alvarez. And she doesn't retire until 2014, so let's hire her. And we'll put... Let's see, is there a bootstrapper? No. What's the data collector? Start each task with the plus one data, minus 50% recovery time, plus 5% payload reliability. That's nice. Whoa, I did not mean to hire him. Who did we hire? A multinational guy. Okay. Well, I guess it'll be a scientist and a multinational. And training will be science. And the launch date will be January. All right. Cool, cool. And next is the launch of the Mars prep sample retrieval. Let's take a look at Mars readiness. We are at 40%. The closest competitors are China and Japan at 23, Soviet Unit, uh, Union at 22, and the US at 13%. But we are launching the Mars prep mission here, so... And no one else even has the science. No one else even has the science for it. And we're launching in four months. So let's continue on to the next event. Uh, Soviet Union is launching Uranus flyby and Neptune flyby. Okay. 
Uh, Mars prep sample retrieval, ready for launch. All right, 92% launch reliability, 80% payload reliability, a lot of science. Let's do this. Good weather, please. Looking good. Looking good. Weather is nice. Launch day Intrepid, November 1989, we're launching our first Mars prep. And good condition, we have a 1% risk of a critical failure and a 1% risk of a negative event. This should be fine. 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have ignition. And liftoff. Go, buddy, go! Clear the tower. And the Saturn V launcher is taking it up there. Beautiful, beautiful nighttime launch there. All right. And we get... Uh, it would have been nice with the positive events, uh, event, but uh, secure launch is nice as well. And the Saturn V booster gets a little more reliable, 85%. And the Ariane 6 gets a little more reliable as well. Good for future launchers. All right. Okay, that looks pretty darn cool. That looks pretty darn cool. All right. We need to gather a bit of comms, some nav, and a 14th thrust. So we need to hit this three times. Need to hit this three times. We have four turns, four commands per turn. Let's see, where do we begin? Where do we begin? Let's begin with a signal attenuation test. Then we can do some ultraviolet imaging. And that should trajectory correction maneuver that gives us five data six nav and then we can do a mission control monitoring that gives us five com five nav three data and our payload is pretty reliable 80 percent uh, we got minus two decay decay on the thrust but that won't matter because we won't be doing the thrust until the last turn and everything went perfectly beautiful so we actually need to get to 20 nav and 17 calm need 20 nav and 17 calm all right well, I think we'll do two trajectory correction maneuvers. And then we'll... Mm. Then we'll do some cosmic dust analysis. And then we'll do a um, mission control monitoring. That takes us to 10 and 13 and 3, na uh, three data. All right. All good so far. Cosmic dust analysis. Yeah, it's dust. And mission control maneuvering. It maneuvered as it should. Beautiful. Okay, we have two turns remaining. So let's do this twice again. Then let's boost our transmission and a signal attenuation test because that gives us 17 and 22. That means that we just need to do the full burn times three next turn okay all good so far beautiful 
and the signals are oh, there there wasn't really a good signal there but we can afford to resist that so let's just do it and that means that we just do one two three and recharge our power that gives us our 50 percent bonus reward and all is wonderful and we can resist all three of them so let's just do it if we need to needed to resist two of them that's fine resist and there we go we are on our way to mars right. two three hundred and sixty three support and 206 science for three months all right wow a lot of stuff going on uh yeah, we completed the first phase of the mars prep Japan is launching Uranus flyby. China completed modular space station two. Well, we did that long time ago. Soviet Union is launching Uranus flyby. Soviet Union is launching uh, Neptune flyby. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. We have a new mission here at Earth. Orbital radio. Not the most interesting mission in the world. Um. Uh, we are far, far away from getting Rosalind. Uh, so when is our next uh, phase here? In three months. Okay. So we're launching... The ne next phase of Jupiter Orbiter is next month, and the launch of the Observations Module is next month. So... All good. Next phase ready. Jupiter Orbiter. And we need to launch our observations module, which is on experimental fuel. But we still have pretty good launch reliability. So-so payload reliability. Let's see if the weather is with us. It is, and it is our shuttle that's going up on this one. Launch day, Horus, December 1989. All right, and the weather has we have adequate conditions. Five percent risk of going boom. Fourteen percent of a negative event. All right, go go go, Horus. We're in the air. Cleared the tower. And it's looking good so far. Pushing through Max Q. And we are out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we get a secure launch. Wonderful. We don't get any more reliability there because it is as reliable as it gets. And we'll stick the observations module up here for the International Space Station. We need to achieve Earth orbit. And we need 20 of each to get the bonus event. We need to be within a margin of minus one to one at the end of the sixth turn. So we have six turns and three commands per turn. Alrighty. Let's do... We have three astronauts. Let's do a manual data collection. So wh which is hardest to get here? Suppose it's nav because of all the uh, all the drift involved in nav. So then we'll do a light path control. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just do this three times? That gives us six and six. I think that's pretty good. Good start. Very good start. Manual data collection went very well. An extra comms there. And the manual data collection went well again. And it went very, very well again. Nice. Practice makes perfect. Uh, two extra nav. Very nice. That was an excellent first turn. That gives us seven, six, and two. 
So what we could do is do a flag path control and a manual data collection. And then we could do location extrapolation. That takes us to 9, 7, and 12. We have plenty of power, so I am good with this. Oh, very nice. Almost. Okay. No. If we did emission control monitoring, then we could do a conducting of experiments and a manual data collection. That takes us to 15, 11, and 12. We are way off on our drift, but that's okay. Because we can fix it on the last turn if we want. Uh, we'll resist that. And we'll resist that. Okay. So, why don't we do an orbital plane adjustment? And a flight path control. Then we can do... Uh, then we can do a boosting of the transmission. That takes us to 21, 9 and 21. That means that we need to get a lot of data in the last two turns. You know what? I think we need to do this to get data. We need to get data. So 16, 17, and 13. And then we'll do a gyroscopic stabilization as well. Bringing it back to, and that takes us to 13, 19, 19. I think that's good. And the gyroscopic stabilization went off without a hitch. Good, so we have two turns remaining. We definitely need to get our drift back. So how about we do an orbital plane adjustment, then we'll boost the transmission and we will conduct experiments. Then we basically just need to do a signal attenuation test on the last turn. And our drift is perfectly aligned. Beautiful. So signal attenuation test, that gives us our bonus. We can recharge power twice and we are golden. Accept. And there we go. We are in orbit. Then we need to deploy the module systems. And again, we have to deal with drift. Ooh, it needs to be zero. Wow, six drift. That is a lot of drift. We need 28 data and 28 nav. We don't need... Um, don't need comms. So how about we do a manual data collection and a conducting of experiments? And then an orbital plane adjustment. That takes us to five, seven, and one. Just make sure falling outside the parameters will only fail in the mission when no turns remain. Six turns, three commands per turn. Let's go. All right. We have a lot of power, but we aren't super reliable either, so we'll have to assist. Uh, but we have to keep an eye on our power here. So five, seven, one, and we are at minus five. So. If we do 
boost our transmission here, then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization, almost taking us back. Wow, that's the only way to get... Oh, that's the only way to push drift that way. And then we'll do a flight path control, 616. Okay. This is that. Nice. Some extra data. And another one that we have to resist. This is not going well. All right. So we need to do a manual data collection. We need to boost transmission. Because then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization and get our drift to zero. That takes us to 1119. All right. Okay, then we can do... We have three turns left. So we'll do a flight path control. Then we'll do two external sensor alignments. That gives us our nav. And we're still aligned. And then we just need a bit of data. Which I think we can get. Damn it. Alright, two extra data. Nice. 18 and 29. So what we can do is we can do an infrared mapping. Then we can recharge our power. And then we can do a visual spectrum sampling. That almost takes us there. Then we can finish it off on the next turn. And we can even... So let's do a visual spectrum sampling. That gives us our reward. We can recharge our power twice and we get our 50% bonus. And we are completely aligned on the drift. Perfect! Perfect! All right. Okay, so 4,230 support, 460 science a month for 20 months, and the unified engine design. Very good. Very good. And then Jarius, Mathieu, and Rossi are on the space station for 12 months. And we now have a mission slot available. It's not a bad mission. Increased propellant capacity. Suboptimal launch dates become optimal launch dates. Okay. Wow. 3,432 and 5,000 science. Oh, but we're already doing that. Commercial space imagery with the Russians. I don't really care about the Russians. Hmm. How long until... Well, that'll be a while. Hmm. What other missions do we have? We have one out at Jupiter. Galilean moons flyby. But that's 21 months. I don't want to do such a long mission. So let's do a heat shield analysis. And we'll give it a bit of extra power. Let's build that. Takes two months. And then we have the Jupiter Orbiter next phase. Let's do it. Is it the final phase? That's three phases. I think this is only... Yeah, this is... Mid-course maneuver and then Jupiter orbit in a year. Alright, phase two, December 1989.
We need 18 comms, 18 nav, and 12 thrust. So we need to hit that three times on the last turn, which means that we need to get to 21 nav, and we need to have six data. Ooh, and we need to deal with radiation. I did not notice that. Radiation will be modified by between one and three at the start of the next turn, and it's at one now. So we need... to do a telecommand upload, then we need to do a manual thrust adjustment, and then we need to do a lossless compression. So that gives us seven and two, and keeps our reliability. How is our reliability? Not great, 70%. But that's what we're going with. Confirm. Okay. So far, so good. And lossless compression is good as well. How much radiation do we get? Stays at 70%. And how much radiation did we get? Only one. So that means that we can only do this one. So if we do another manual thrust adjustment, then the lossless compression it's nine and four. And then we do a manual thrust adjustment that takes us to seven and nine with five turns remaining. And we keep our reliability. Nice, two extra nav, very nice. That was really good for us. We'll resist that. Manual thrust adjustment is good. How much radiation do we get? We get three radiation. So we basically need to do a mission data downlink, lossless compression, and then a manual thrust adjustment. Takes us to 17 and 11. Three turns remaining. Should be okay, I think. Ooh. I guess we'll have to resist that. And accept that. Actually, we didn't need to resist that because it only cost data, so I shouldn't have done that. We have plenty of data available. Okay, we get another three, so that means that we have to do this again. And then do this. That takes us to 27 and 11. That's fine. Whoa. Uh, it will cost an additional two. I don't care. Accept. Jesus. And we'll accept that as well. I don't really care. And the manual thrust adjustment went well, thankfully. So 27 and 11, and 11 data. We have more than enough data. And we only get two this time, so that's something. So I want to hit this twice. That takes us to 21, which we need to be at. In order to hit this, we need to hit it three times. We have to hit it three times. So I think we're going to let it be. And just hit that. We can afford to do that. We have 23, 20, and 5 left. Which means we just need to hit this twice next turn. We can do that. So that's all good. We can afford losing the uh, the thrust. We will be a little bit more unreliable, but we have enough power to resist anything. So it's okay. It's okay. 
because it's the last turn. We just need to hit this twice. That gives us our 50% bonus reward. We don't care about the reliability after that because it's only for this phase that we lose the reliability. So let's just resist that and accept that. And there we go. The mid-course adjustment is done. And mission control is ecstatic. All right. 549 support and 68 science for 12 months. And we are well past our next tier of funding. So we will go up to from 765,000 to 816,000 funding. That's pretty good. And we'll get even more. Cool, cool. I guess. Yeah, everything is good. Next month, where we launch the centrifuge module and we have our funding review. And so the funding review, we, get, we got 5,742. Very nice. 94,483, we need to get to 110,000 to get up to the next level, which is an additional 51,000. We'll accept that. And then the centrifuge module is going up. And very, very reliable on all fronts. And good science for it. So let's go. We have a 1% risk of critical failure, none of a negative event. So let's just get it up there. And these are just side missions, so we'll just go through them relatively quickly. Alright, looking good so far. I guess this is the Beetlejuice, right? the Horus and the Beetlejuice we have for uh, for shuttles. So, very nice. Ooh, a positive event. Excellent. Plus one command on first task. Turn of first task. Okay. Continue. And Hermes is super reliable. I do love these modules. Looks so cool. Alright. Achieve Earth Orbit. And we need 8, 20, and 20. Wow, that's a lot. We have five turns. We have four commands per turn, but five on this one. Okay, we only have six power to resist with, but we have a very reliable payload. And we do need to contend with drift. We need to get it up to ten. So how about we do this? And then do an orbital realignment and then a flight path control, which we can't do. We only have two astronauts on board. Dang it. All right. In that case, let's uh, do a remote access configuration. We'll then do... a flyover course adjustment. Um. Hmm. It's very power hungry this conduct experiments an orbital realignment and atmospheric sampling. That takes us to four, six, and five. And even more drift. That's fine, though. All right. Flyover course adjustment was super successful. Very nice. And the 
conducting of experiments went well, the orbital realignment was successful, the atmospheric sampling. Yep, that's an atmosphere. All right, very good. So, flight path control. And real-time comms. That'll take us to five drift. Then we can do... Mm. We can do atmospheric sampling and an orbital course adjustment. That takes us to 9, 7, and 12. I'm not sure we're going to get the bonus reward on this one. Nice. Extra comms. Not the one that we need the most, but flyover course adjustment. Very good. 10, 7, and 12. We might need to do some recharging of our batteries. Flight path control, for sure. And we'll do one more of those. That'll give us all of that. So that means that we need data. So we can do two magnetic field analysis and a recharging of power. I think we have to do. All right. Magnetic field analysis is good. Okay. So we need to do the flight path control again. That takes us to zero. And it gives us some extra nav, which we can use for an aligned burst transmission. Then we can do a magnetic field analysis and a recharging of power. Then we just need four data next turn, which we can easily get with this. So let's do it. And that's our bonus in the bag. Very good. So just do uh, conducting of experiments. That gives us our bonus ward. Recharge three times. And we're all good. Our orbital alignment is where it needs, to, or our drift is where it needs to be. So wonderful. 50% bonus reward achieved. And the module is deployed. 5,000 support, 401 science for 20 months. Beautiful. Be a beautiful. Alvarez and Vasquez are now on the space station as well. So we have a lot of crew out there at the moment. So 11 months, 11 months, 11 months, 12 months. So five of our eight astronauts are available for basically the next year. Ouch. We do have a mission slot available. Hmm. We have a quest mission here, impact analysis. It's only a nine month mission and it's reasonable. So let's plan that mission out. And it'll just be a bog standard because I do not want to reduce the liability. And let's build that puppy. All right. Uh, Rosalind is going to be s finished reasonably soon. But that's okay. Because the heat shield analysis is going to be completed soon as well. And so is the impact analysis. So it's all good. But we are out of time. So we will continue on in the next one. I think we're doing really, really well. I am fairly confident that we will be the first to colonize Mars. So uh, yeah, we're on track. We are on track. 
So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.